guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, hello, my name is Kim. I go by Kimber Kiss Cosmic Queen here on YouTube, also known as Kimber Kiss. We, for this reading, for this time reading, we all get confused about love. Let's be honest. Is this a cycle of bad luck or is the wheel turning in our favor? Well, I'm here to tell you that if you try this amazing service called King, you're going to absolutely love it. I got this reading using today's sponsor, Keen. Keen connects you with talented tarot readers and also astrologers. And if you want to get a reading on Keen like I did, it's super easy to start. All you have to do is create an account and you'll be able to choose from the hundreds of readers who are online right now. These readers each have very unique specialties designed to provide a deeper understanding of your unique situation. Want to learn more about your love life? Is he or she cheating on you? Do they love you? Keen has a reader ready to provide you clarity and insight. You can choose whichever reader best suits your needs and you'll be able to connect with via phone call or text chat. And as a new customer on Keen, you can try your first 10 minutes for only $1.99 which is up to $99 in savings. Go to trykeen.com slash Kimberkiss. Click the link in my description to save big on your first reading. I promise you, you're going to fall in love with their service as much as I have. I'm hearing it was just spilled milk. Don't, don't freak out. Um, I'm gonna actually be pulling messages that your person is thinking, but not necessarily communicating. Your divine masculine, wow. I've never felt like this just now in the reverse. They're definitely not communicating that, but that's how they feel. That's what we're gonna get into right now. That's what this reading is solely going to consist of. So if you're drawn to it, this must be, must be are for you. And all my readings are timeless, by the way. You really hurt me in the reverse. A lot of cards just flipped up. We have the Star Seeds card. We have I'm missing you terribly. We have third party situation and I feel such a magnetic pull towards you. This actually started when they first saw you because it flew out at the beginning of the row. So they feel such a magnetic pull towards you. They've never felt this way before. You may have hurt this person, maybe simply because you didn't feel it at the time that they felt it. And it's like this wound from the beginning that stuck with this person. It's really odd. They know that you're star seeds. It's not odd. I mean, it makes sense. They know that you're both star seeds. They're missing you terribly. And there's some sort of third party situation here, person, place, or thing. Um, I'm getting that this could be that this person is in maybe even a full-blown marriage or you could be or both of you could be let's see what else we get okay they write you messages and then they get scared and they delete them They see signs and repeating numbers everywhere they go. And they always pertain to you. There's always some sort of symbolic representation or a name or an energy that they feel. And as soon as they see the sign or the numbers, they automatically think of you right away. They're content in their current situation, but they are not happy. Whoa, okay. My silence is just me working on things. So their silence is like not because they don't want to talk to you. It's just because they know like when they're feeling these pulls and pushes and longings towards you that it's a sign for them to go within. And when they feel drained and overwhelmed by this connection, they also take that as a sign that they know they need to go within and sort that out. They just need some time in themselves when that happens, okay? So it's not because they don't like you. It's because they like you so much and they feel overwhelmed by it. And so they need to go with them and sort things out. 
I'm sure you know this by now, but I just had to explain that a little bit further. They don't know what to do about this situation. They are missing you so much. This is another thing. And they want you so bad. I just want you so bad. Under the third party situation. Okay. That's what they don't know what to do about this. Because of how they feel towards you. They're trying to do the right thing here. There's red flags in the past. I feel like. They kind of look at you as karmic sometimes because of a third party situation. And maybe like there were things that happened in the past that weren't so pretty <laughs> between you and this person or with this person in particular. Those are things that this person needs to go with it and heal. And this is things they know that they need to heal is what I'm hearing. Oh, so they've matured to that level. They know they need to heal these things from the past. When we connect, I feel fire throughout my body. They feel so much passion and fire. We share telepathic communication. They are coming into the understanding of this more and more. It's like the magic is coming up online. They need some space to figure this out. Like they get overwhelmed by the energies because it's very strong. It's because it's only you. It's only you. And they say, I need nurturance. I need to give myself that nurturance because I am so obsessed with you. And not in a way that's like bad. It's just I'm doing this shadow work because I know that like I do not want to treat you the way that I did in the past. I'm missing you so much and, and I don't know what to do about this situation. I need to do the shadow work so that way I can come to terms with my situation or your situation. And then I need to be able to be able to uh, relay the correct message to you on how to go about this moving forward because it's a very delicate situation and it's all I ever wanted and I don't want to ruin it. I want to do the right things. The right thing. I feel like I'm going crazy. <laughs> I wish things were simpler. That's why I'm doing the shadow work. I'm scared to open up to you. Even through telepathic communication, I'm scared. Because this is the romance of a lifetime. Hear the birds chirping? This person and you communicate through energetic expressions and even through animals. So pay attention. I'm not just saying that. Pay attention. Everything, everywhere I go, I'm reminded of you. So this is a romance of a lifetime. And it's only you. And you know this. Okay. Work with crystals. They're pointing me to like the rose quartz especially. Work with rose quartz. Also connect with the stars above, the stars below. So there's starfish and there's stars in the sky. They want you to connect to both of them. Um, yeah, th this is very powerful. So take the time that you need to recalibrate these energies or just take them in, integrate them, okay? Yeah, this, this will be okay, but it's a delicate situation and you both need to go within for this, okay? The train's going divine emphasis from spirit. I'm going to leave it on that note. Hear the train? Yeah. Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing. If you wanted a personal reading with me, you can find all the details in the description box below. We go really deep and detailed. Um, so and they're very powerful and very activating. And yeah, they'll activate you towards what you're needing. I also have a meditation for divine union. It's very powerful and I've had amazing feedback with it. If you wanted to check that out, it's also pinned in the comments and listed in the description box below. I love each and every one of you so incredibly much. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon. 818 on the clock. 819. Bye guys. 821, 22, 23.